Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to talk about these two fidgets. So these were sent to me by Magnus. Shout out to Magnus, a uh, great dude, great company. And uh, they were kind enough to send me a couple things to check out. Now, I'll spoil it and say I liked this enough that I ordered another full Zerk uh, slider. I ordered the Robo in full Zerk yesterday. So that's how much I like it. Spoiler alert. So this is the full zirconium dimple slider. And this is the Toad X. And I can tell you right off the bat, I like both. Um, the Toad is not my favorite. And it's mostly because of size. Um, I think I just have larger hands than this is intended for. It is fun. It is fidgety. I don't really have a bunch of complaints. Um, it's just, I think, not for my size. It kind of gets to where, like, my hand is almost cramping because I'm the way I'm holding it because of the size. Where this just is a better size for me. Um, and this might be slightly bigger than I'd want. I know I'm kind of, you know, this is a little too small and this is a little too big, but just is what it is. But uh, I much prefer this size over this one. So let's talk about the Toad X real quick. This one's uh, got a three by two setup. So you basically have one magnet on this side and then one magnet on that side. Does that make sense? So one there and one there. So one, two, and then you have one, two, three, one, two, three vertical. So you have a total of six magnets in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sense? On each side, 12 total magnets and what that means is you can go over like this you can obviously go over this way so you can start here go to center and go over that way right go any further pops off um, and then in this case you can go down to here go up go to center go up go up one more and you're good to go so the fun with this one is to go up ladder out close it go over ladder down you know, you can do whatever, ladder uh, around the world or whatever you want to do. I try to do the around the world. You go like this. Let it come in. Flick it down. One more. One more. Got it. Oh. My favorite moves are the half ladder. So I go over, flick down, and then slam it home. Go up, flick down, slam it close, go up. That's one of my favorite moves right there is just flipping up like that um the thing i don't love about this again is the the small size i thought i'd like how thin it is but i don't know if i do uh, but it's basically just the size and the fact that you only get the uh three magnets on the vertical um i like having a four by three or sorry a four by two because you can go up one two and one more and that is more satisfying for me because i'm all about this these clicks down so i'm going to grab a comparable real quick this is going to be the only other free floating slider i have currently the comp of form allure series v3 and you'll notice if you watched my last video on the um trio that i compared that to a comp of form item and i'll say magnus and comp of form are very comparable they're both high-end fidget companies that innovate they make different cool items a lot like they come out with new products uh, uh pretty frequently right and they have similar designs again like you have the trio and the super bean you have their sliders and their sliders uh, but they also make totally unique things that aren't the same but um, they're on the same kind of tier that people put them in, right? You have Magnus, you have Compaform, and then usually you hear Modus Works as well. I do have a Modus Works slider coming to test out, so we'll see how accurate those three are. Now, for me, I like to put Compaform, I think, at the top tier. I kind of call uh, Ivan the Ferrari of uh, fidgets because if you look at the way he finishes these... Uh, the finish work and uh, like you can you can't even really see the seam there's no magnets showing there's no plate detachment um, it's just sort of a uh, it looks like a luxury item a high-end piece 
where the Magnus ones are super well made. I mean, there's no arguing that, but like you can see the screws. So you know what's going on here, right? There's a plate and then, but a lot of times the reason why Magnus, ow, pinch, 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 damn. Um, the reason why Magnus does that is so that you have customization. You can swap out instead of Zerk plates, you want Teflon or brass. Where with Compaform, you get what you get, right? Uh, now, what you get is usually utterly fantastic, so it doesn't bug me. But anyway, they're very comparable, and that's why I compare them. Uh, so this is a free-floating slider, and this has four magnets up and down and uh, two side-to-side. -side. So you have the same kind of uh, one, two, three. But vertically, you can go one, two, three instead of on this one, one, two, and you're done, right? Um, and what that allows is just, for me, a funner play style. You can go one, two, three, instead of one, two. And that's going to be preference, right? But I'm a really big click and audible guy, so I like that extra click. I like that haptic, you know, click. But anyway, um, so this, in terms of size, is very similar. Um, you can see there, that's the uh, toe. Let me zoom in a little. I don't know why I keep zooming out. Uh, there's the size comparison. These are like kind of literally comparable in almost every dimension, except, um, you know, this has that ridge pattern and everything. And this just has that, um, illusion pattern. You'll see this has laser treated titanium plates, uh, where this has that zirconium going on. So, uh, this is probably currently my absolute favorite, uh, slider in the game. Uh, but I will be honest and say it's one of the only ones I've really, you know, hand I've handled some 3d printed one, a couple of Magnus ones and, you know, and the Compaform one. Now, um, uh, switching from this to the dimple, this is the full Zerk dimple. Let me grab that Compaform for, uh, size comparison again, just so you can see. There's the size comparison to the dimple. So you have a uh, much larger, I would say, in terms of overall you know, size. It's not really in the grand scheme of things, but in your hand, it does make a difference. Um, Thickness-wise, it's thicker. Uh, very similar in terms of how they're made, you know, like that shape and everything. Uh, both are beautiful uh, builds. Um, again, you have those Zerk plates with the screws, but I mean, it looks a lot cleaner here than it does on this just because the coloring I think matches. Um, but the magnet setup is four by two on both of these. So one, two, three, right? Flip around, flip around, flip down, flip down, and then one, two, three. So very, very similar. Uh, and I gotta say, this has become a just absolute favorite um, to the point where, again, I ordered that Robo one because this, the downside to this one is it doesn't have a ton of grip. I really thought the dimple would have good grip, um, but that's one thing with these Zerk plates is they, they do tend to kind of uh, bind up a little bit at times and uh, you know, I'll add some face oil or whatever uh, You can use whatever method you want tape or whatever um, And it does help uh, But it does bind up a little bit and I will say this does that occasionally as well, but it's not really the plates. It's um, It's me getting like my hands are sweaty. So then I slip off of this because it's a it's a pretty It's a different finish. This is more matte and grippy and this is more like slick, just has a little bit, a few ridges, right? Um, but yeah, the magnet strength on both is, I think, very good. And it, it's, it's great for the specific slider. I think they're both like dialed in very well. Um, but I really like the dimple. It's just when my hands get a little sweaty, I struggle with it a little bit. So I got the Robo because it's a little bit more like this where it has this texture all around it and stuff, and it'll be, you know, I think easier to use. Um, but I absolutely love this thing. Uh, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's, it's got great weight to it. That's another thing. This is pretty lightweight. I mean, it's titanium, and that's probably why. Um, this is zirconium, so it's a little bit heavier. So if that's a factor for you, you know. Um, 
But anyway, this is 100% in the same ballpark as that uh, Compaform, which to me is a huge compliment. Um, both are phenomenal. You can't go wrong. Um, I would say the positive with Magnus is you can get his stuff. You can go to his website right now and there's probably a drop going on or or there's just something available that you know hasn't been bought yet. Um, he makes a lot of items. And he makes them and he does these drops like every four hours and he and if they sell out he makes more. And then it he kinda he can gauge uh he can gauge the demand by that. Once they stop selling or stop selling fast or whatever, he can gauge it and tone back his uh production. Which I think is really cool, where in terms of compa form, there's just not enough. Like Ivan can't make enough and get enough to the states to you know, fill the amount of orders that he could fill, right? Um, so it's a little bit of a different setup. So like, this is a great, freaking fantastic, 100% recommend product. It's just gonna be really hard to get. Keep an eye on the Facebook group, of course. There are more coming. But this is something you could get. Like if you just kind of pay attention and follow the website, sign up for notifications or whatever, you can get a slider. You might not get this exact one, but you can get a good uh, slider from Magnus. Uh, in terms of pricing, I think these full Zerk ones are like 370, something like that. Um, and then if you got Teflon, I think you could take off like 60 bucks or something. So maybe like 310 or something. Uh, the Toad, I'm not sure. I would, rec I would uh, venture to guess somewhere around $180. And maybe with the uh, Zerk plates, it might be like 220 or something, I'm guessing. But somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, so I, I think they're very recommendable. I think they're fantastic. I think in the world of uh, fidgets where, you know, it's really hit or miss a lot of times, right? Uh, Magnus is a very safe bet, I think. Um, I reviewed this one uh, in the last video. It's just a safe bet. Um, you can't really go wrong and if you don't love it you can go to the Facebook group for Magnus and either sell it or trade it and you're pretty good to go but you're gonna you know, you're gonna put a few shekels into it but it's coming from New Zealand you know it's made in a shop there it's not you know Chinese made and then you know bulk made or whatever so uh, totally the pricing makes perfect sense no issues there uh, and you're supporting a, a good company and good people. Magnus is a great guy. Um, from all my conversations with him, I've highly enjoyed them. Um, so anyway, yeah, check out Magnus. Uh, thank you again to Magnus for sending these my way. I'll continue to post videos about uh, their products as I get them in because uh, I've picked a few things up and uh yeah we'll see so let me know down in the comments what you guys think if you're gonna pick one up if you have picked one up all of that good stuff and uh yeah i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later